Okay, last but not least, we're going to talk about lymphocytes. So what are lymphocytes? They fall into two different categories based on morphology. You have your naive lymphocytes, which are your T and uh, B lymphocytes when they're naive, obviously, when they're young or quiescent. Um, they have a round nucleus, approximately the size of a red blood cell, and they have a small rim of cytoplasm. They're about 9 microns in diameter. Um, they make up about 90% of the lymphocytes. Next, you have the large granular lymphocytes, which are the natural killer cells, and the cytotoxic T lymphocytes, which make up about 10% together. They're larger. They have a more um, abundant cytoplasm. So as you can see here, the cytoplasm is now bigger than the nucleus. And they have large enzymes that are, are uh, granules that contain perforin and granzyme. Uh, the number in healthy, healthy individuals is about 20 to 40% of blood leukocytes. Now, the classification of lymphocytes falls into T cells, which make up about 70 to 80 percent. There's CD4 positive, which are helper T cells and regulatory T cells. So these are helper T cells, these are regulatory T cells. Then you also have the CD8 positive cells, which are cytotoxic T lymphocytes, which, you know, I'm going to go into more detail on these in further videos, but this is just more of a general classification of these. Then you have your B cells down here, which make up about 10 to 20%, which are part of your adaptive immune uh, response. Then you have your natural killer cells, which make up about 5 to 10%, and then your natural killer T cells. They express functional T cell receptors, as I saw in the previous video, the T cell receptor on the killer uh, T cell, and they respond to CD1 antigen presentation rather than class 1 and class 2 MHC molecules, which we'll see later on is very important. Um, oh, another thing I wanted to say was there, the ratio of CD4 to CD8 cells is 2 to 1. There are two CD4 cells for every CD8 cell. Um, and then both the NK cells and the NKT cells function in innate immunity. So kind of, and I want to give a little summary now of lymphocyte functions. So the T cells, which are acquired immunity, um, they're kind of like the CD4 cells right here are the generals, okay? So think about them, they help activate these CD8 cells, which are the soldiers, right? Um, <clears throat> so they activate these CD8 T cells, also activate B cells, macrophages, and other immune cells to help regulate immune responses. Um, and they produce a range of different cytokines. Now the CD8 cells are the soldiers, so they kill the virally infected cells and cancer cells. And their source of cytokines um, or like interferon gamma, so IFNY gamma. Now B cells, they're from the acquired immunity, so adaptive immunity. They form and they mature in the bone marrow and they express membrane-bound immunoglobulin. Membrane-bound immunoglobulin on their cells, okay? Um, they produce and secrete antibody and they function as an antigen presenting cell in secondary immune responses. Okay, so they're like dendritic cells in this case. Natural killer cells, which are involved in the innate immune response, they form and mature in the bone marrow. And then you have your natural killer T cells, which is also involved here in innate immune response. They form in the bone marrow and they mature in the thymus. Remember that. So remember when we talked about the, the development and the hematopoie hematopoiesis of these cells, natural killer cells and B cells they both mature in the bone marrow, right? And that's it. When you look at T cells and natural killer T cells, they, uh, they start in the bone marrow, but then they mature in the thymus and they use interactions with different antigens and other mature cells in order for themselves to mature. So what natural killer T cells do is they kill both virus infected cells and cancer cells, and they're both important source of cytokines. So in future videos, we're going to be talking about the innate immune response before moving more into this adaptive immune response of, of these T cells and B cells. So in the next couple of videos, we'll be talking about natural killer cells and uh, the function of the innate immune response as it responds rapidly to infections and anything going on in your body while it waits for the adaptive immune response to uh, start, start up in. And it's a little slower, but the adaptive immune response is, is very necessary, as we will see.